Yo, what's going on everybody? It is straight out of Boston here, aka the King of Boston. Today we're back for episode 26 of my Indiana Pacers My League here in NBA 2K15. And today we're ready to start round two where we will be taking on the Charlotte Hornets. Now this has pretty much been a uh, a known matchup for a while. We knew we were going to run into these guys at some point. Probably no one else good enough to beat them unless we lucked into the one seed. And then Toronto and Charlotte maybe could have dueled it out in the second round and one of them could have been eliminated but that did not happen so anyway take a look at the rotation for this round so we're going to be switching it up throughout the simulation for the first couple of games we're going to start Marcus Gasol and DeAndre Jordan together and bring Oubre off the bench now that they're both pretty healthy we'll see how it goes and it does not go well we lose the first two games of the series so now we're going to insert Oubre into the starting lineup go back to Gasol off the bench as he is still not quite fully healthy still a 79 overall DeAndre is an 80 so we'll see how that goes next couple of games we win game three, so that's promising. Game four, we end up losing. So we're down three to one in the series. And this is not looking good. Down three to one against the Charlotte Hornets. We're gonna have to beat this team three times in a row. So what I'm gonna do is if I win game five, I'll simulate game six and then play game seven. Uh, because if if I was to user win three games in a row, it'd be a little cheesy. Kind of be like well, the simulation didn't really matter. I was going to win the series anyway, no matter what happens. So I'll, I'm going to simulate game six if I win game five. And then um, I will play game seven in the next video if we end up winning game five. But either way, here we go. Started out in Charlotte. Lance Stevenson with the ball being picked up by Emmanuel Moutier. And that's a good start for Lance Stevenson. Posterizing Marcus All right there. And for this game, we did insert Marcus All and DeAndre Jordan back into the lineup. So... We, uh, I, I, that's the way I wanted to go the whole time. I thought Oubre was going to be better off on the bench. I thought Gasol and Jordan would make our offense or our defense dynamic. Um, now we definitely lack a little bit in offense because Gasol, not fully healthy right now, is not a very good offensive player. And we already know that DeAndre Jordan's not a very good offensive player. So we're going to really lean heavily on our perimeter guys to uh, produce so far. But as you can see, we're only four minutes left in the first quarter, and it's only nine to eight. So the defenses are certainly taking over this game. Here's Tyus Jones in the corner for three. He knocks that one down, and we take a lead 11 to nine right now. Three and a half minutes to play in the first. That's going to be an outlet. Now finally gets it to Austin Rivers up the court to P.J. Hairston, the uh, Duke to UNC connection right there, and that ties the game up at 11. Now still 11 all ball with Paul Pierce. He gets blocked, but Nene gets the rebound. Out to Tyus Jones again for three, and Tyus is Jones getting out here in the first quarter he hits his second three he's got six points now but Kevin Durant and Paul Pierce just cannot cover Kevin Durant luckily Collie Stein's there for the block but it's an outlet to Hairston and he knocks down the three so we're tied at 16 once again now under a minute to play in the first quarter here's Austin Rivers off a screen great pass to Kevin Durant is wide open and he gets the jumper to go so they're up by two now 22 18 is the score now 22 to 20 at the start of the second quarter DeAndre on a rebound and that was one thing with starting Gasol and DeAndre and both playing 30 minutes as we're gonna out rebound them pretty much no matter what happens they're starting big men this game were Cody Zeller and I want to say Frank Kaminsky but I don't think that's correct I think they started oh no they started Noah Vonley at the four and no matter what was happening we were out rebounding them even if they had Ed Davis who I believe was hurt and was not starting this game um I believe he got hurt before the series started because if you remember when we played them in the regular season Ed Davis started that center this time it was Cody Zeller but no matter what was happening we were out rebounding them so that is one big advantage we had with DeAndre and Gasol, but there it does not work as Vonley gets his own offensive rebound and puts that back up. And in 28-26 now, Zeller gets the rebound here out to Kemba Walker, running the break, pushing the tempo, three on one, down to Harrison for the one-handed slam, and the game is tied at 28. Once again, 30 all now is the score. Here's Lance Stevenson running a break. He's going to give it up to Kemba. Kemba, great bounce pass to Harrison, and PJ Harrison is having a big effect on this game right now. He's been big for the Hornets off the bench. Now here's Emmanuel Moutier. Down low to Gasol, who's wide open for that little 10-foot jumper. It does not go, but DeAndre's there for the offensive putback. And now we're up. Well, actually, we're down by one right now, 37-36. Here's Durant in the corner, covered by Nene. You can see we're trying anything we can do. Now that I think about it, my best option probably would have just been to put Paul George out there for 44 minutes of the game or whatever and just had him pick up Kevin Durant whenever. But, I mean, I was going to rely so heavily on my perimeter guys for defense that it just sort of turned into a bad matchup. I was going to so rely on them so heavily for offense that... Turned into a bit of a bad matchup, but Durant uh, had his way all game long. Here he is again with the layup. That time, Kali Stein was trying to check him, but that's not going to work. 45-36 to 36 right now. There's a steal. The Hornets looking to go on a run right now. Walker down to Kaminsky. Floater. It's good, and they're up by 11 points, and that would be the score heading into the half. 47-36. to 36. Our defense fell apart in the second quarter, and our offense only scores 16 points. So, 
Really a not great basketball being played by the Pacers right now. we got to regroup, make some halftime adjustments, figure out what we are going to do to try and get back into this ball game. But you can see we're shooting 36%, and the free throws have killed us too. We missed a lot of free throws this game, only 57% from the line so far. But you can see Gasol leading the way with 7 boards. Kevin Durant has 10 points. That leads the way for scoring. And Kemba's got 6 assists. That leads the way in that category. So now it's an 11-point game. That's going to be rebounded by Gasol. An outlet pass to Emmanuel Moody. He's got a 2-on-1. Drags both defenders towards him. Throws up the alley-oop. And it's Jimmy Butler with the two-handed slam. And Butler's offensive game really felt like it regressed as the season went along. I thought I was really starting to figure out how to use him on offense a little bit as the season, you know, got... As we got even towards the middle of last season, but... You know, since last playoffs, he's really been a non-factor. Like, the most I'll score with him is maybe 10 or 12 points, and they're all sort of just garbage dunks like that on the fast break. Maybe he'll hit one or two threes, but I don't know. It's, I mean, I love Butler's defense. He's one of the reasons, he's a big reason why we only allow 86 points a game, but I feel like we're going to need a little bit more offense out of him. Maybe we can work on him in some training camps or something over the summer, but here we go now. It's a seven-point lead for the Hornets. Emmanuel Moutier with the ball. He's got a wide open Jimmy Butler. And speaking of the devil, he's going to knock down that three. That was, I believe, his second field goal of the game. But here's a four-point game now, 58 to 54. Austin Rivers with the ball. He'll be checked by Moutier. And he's going to give the pass right down low to Stevenson, who Paul George lost there on defense somehow. Not quite sure how that happened. But that pass is intercepted. P.J. Harrison again doing some damage. Almost turns it right back over, but it's down low to... I think that was actually Ed Davis right there. So I guess Ed Davis was not hurt. He was just coming off the bench. I was mistaken in what I said earlier. But really didn't have an impact on this game. So I kind of forgot about him. But George for three. Big shot by Paul George. Leads down to five now. 64 to 59. Now it's 68 to 63. Kelly Oubre with the ball being covered by the smaller Harrison, but a great pass to Nene who cut to the basket after the inbound play, and he slams it down. Now 68 65. Harrison with the ball. You know what he's done tonight. He's going to drive in, kick it down to Davis, and one. Ed Davis. And he puts them back up by six. Now it's an eight point lead. 73 65. Harrison crossing up on Jones. Layup good, and they're up by 10 just like that. We had gotten it down to three. We got in the lead down to as little as three, and it goes right back up to ten, just like it was at the half. I guess it was 11 at the half, but still some bad, bad play from the Pacers right there. Now it's a six-point game again. Here's Zeller with the ball, gives it up to P.J. Hairston right to the hoop again. P.J. Hairston giving us problems all game long. I think Jimmy Butler was checking him for most of the game, but... Either way, I'm pretty sure Moody matched up on him a couple times. Here's some nice passing down to George, who just muscles his way to the glass for that one. Kemba Walker, not big or strong enough to handle Paul George down low like that. Now 81-75 is the score. Moody with the ball is going to give this one up to Butler, who's looking for a screen from Gasol. Nice reject of the screen right there, and then when Butler gets the hoop, he'll slam that down, I don't know, four times out of five or so. So it's a four-point game again. We're getting the lead down. Six minutes to play. George with the ball to the hoop. And Paul George gets the lead down to 283 to 81 is the score. Now it's 85-84. Chance to take the lead. And we're going to go right down to our man Marc Gasol who had the mismatch. Kevin Durant covering him. Gasol backs him down. Hook shot. It's good. Marc Gasol with only single-digit points so far tonight. He was a beast on defense, but was not doing anything on offense. Gives us the lead, though, but Noah Vonley, and that was a key in this in this game, and really throughout the series, Noah Vonley, the emergence of Noah Vonley, he is a much better in year three of this My League than he is in year one of real life, or even year one of this My League, or anything like that. He has become a very good player, a very good two-way player, and now after that KD3, they're up by five. Here's a Moody A3, that's good, the lead's down to two with two minutes to play. So here we go, still in this game, Lance Stevenson with the ball, looking for his man coming off the screen, it's Kemba Walker, who steps back, pulls up for a three, Kemba Walker, clutch time Kemba, knocking down a big three, now it's a five point game, we're trying to get right back in at 98-95, Moody going straight to the hoop, gives it to the cutting Paul George, bad shot right there, but it goes in nonetheless, now 30 seconds to play, we need a basket, either a two or a three. We have multiple options here. We'll see what we do. Moody with the screen from Jordan. He's going to kick it out to Butler. Open look for the tie. No good. Rebounded by Jordan. Open basket. Moody is open to the top of the key. Jordan misses. Rebounded by Cody Zeller. He'd be fouled. Now it's a four-point game with 10 seconds to play. Moody looking for a quick shot. Butler again for three. No good. Rebounded by Vonley. He gets it up to Stevenson, who's going to get fouled with 1.7 seconds left. And the Charlotte Hornets eliminate the Indiana Pacers. They knock them out of the playoffs. Wow, what a game. In five games, the Hornets win the series, and that does it. The Pacers are eliminated. So, this is clearly not how I planned for this to go. I thought we were going to make a title run. 
But uh, because I still have two more days before I have to go back to school, I have Saturday and Sunday to post. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the next off season up on Saturday, and then I'm going to simulate the entire season and post that on Sunday. And that'll include the playoffs and see if we can get a simulation title in year four, because obviously we're pretty disappointed with how this season ended. I mean, I hate to make excuses. I don't want to play the what if game, but I certainly think we were derailed by the injuries and, and just everything that happened and then trading for Gasol, DeAndre coming back. It just sort of made our team a weird fit. And I think we would have been much better off had we traded Millsap for a better two-way four, kept DeAndre, had he stayed healthy, and kept Ubre off the bench. But we'll see what happens. We'll have room for, uh, you know, if, if the team is really that good, then it should be that good again next year if everything goes well. So that's going to do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you did enjoy. Those them out.